What's up, Rashawn? How are you? What's going on? Doing well. No complaints. Oh, very good. Very good to see you. Yes, um, you've got a, a crowded front line this year, and you seem to have no problem with a crowded front line last year. Just how do you look at the competition with the guys around you and sort of the different looks that you guys can give this year? Oh, man, I just think bring a lot of versatility, you know, uh, a lot of pieces that can bring a lot of different things to the game. And, uh, you know, our front line is, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to get past this, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like just the talent and the people they brought in, you know, it complements the talent we had here very well. And uh, I feel like it's a lot of things we can do. I know uh, there was a social media post about uh, your team not being very good this season, uh, and you responded to that. What do you look at your team and – what do you say to people on the outside looking in that that maybe don't know what you guys have in store? I mean, it's a it's a lot of talent here and it's a lot of hungry guys, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to be no cakewalk when people play Sacramento or it's not going to be no easy game when they play Sacramento. So it's not, you know, we got a lot of tough-minded guys here, a lot of competitors, and, you know, we're looking forward to getting after it every night. And I think people are going to see something a little different than they were expecting. Deuce Mason. Hey, Rashawn, how's it going, man? Um, last time we saw you guys, you're inside a bubble, and of course there are no positive tests, and now you're not going to be playing in a bubble situation, but the league's taking steps to make sure testing's all right. Um, do, do you guys think about that in the back, or do you think about that in the back of your head? Is that kind of in the back of your mind? Is it something that concerns you, or are you just kind of focused on what lies ahead? I mean, I, I think it's it's concerning and kind of every, in uh, everybody's mind right now, you know, just uh, – with the way things have been going. So I, I think it's impossible not to think about, but at the same time, you know, we have a goal. We, we're blessed to be able to come in and work, you know, they're making the environment as safe as possible. So I think, you know, we just have to be focused and go forward, do things that we uh, we planning on doing. But, you know, I think it's impossible not to think about, especially as dominated the headlines since March. So, you know, it's just something you kind of have to put on the back burner and just focus on the task at hand. And I know it's been a weird off season. It's not like what you're used to. Uh, but for you, like, what have you been working on with your game? I know you're trying to add things all the time. What What are some things you're kind of focused in on over the offseason? Yeah, hey, I think the big things for me was just uh, playmaking and being able to space the floor. You know, been taking a lot of shots, working on my playmaking from the middle of the floor to, you know, just kind of open things up for our offense. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to pay dividends for sure. Sean Cunningham. Sean, good to see you, man. Hope the family's well. Yes, sir. Um, you know, the pieces that you guys have added uh, kind of in relation to the way things ended last season, uh, can you take much from last season uh, and carry it over to this one? Or, you know, do you just how, what do you make of the pieces in terms of the way they made you guys better? Uh, I think, you know, we have to, you know, some things, especially before the, the break last season, it was the way we were playing and things of that sort, I think those are things we can kind of, you know, bring that mentality, how we're playing, that, that sense of togetherness and things of that sort. It's things we can try to bring into this season, um, as well as, you know, bringing the new guys in. You know, like I said, the new guys we have offer a lot, offer a lot of different things, and, you know, as well as integrating them. And um, I think we have a lot of weapons and we have a deep team. And just the way things ended for you guys last year, what does that do for you guys going into this year? I mean, even for you personally, it looked like, you know, you weren't quite, right in that bubble, you know, with the way picking up your game and the way duplicating it the way it was earlier in the season. Did that leave any frustration for you? I mean, I think we were all frustrated. We went down there to the bubble to give ourselves a chance to make the playoffs and we didn't accomplish that goal. And um, I know myself, I've been in the gym since then trying to do everything I could to prepare for when the season would come and uh, prepare for this moment. And I know my teammates have been doing the same thing. So I think we all kind of going into this season with a little bit more of a chip on our shoulder and, uh, you know, trying to get our goals accomplished. Jason Jones. Hey, what's going on, Rashawn? How's it going? How's it going? All right. Now, you talked about uh, playmaking and spacing the floor, and a couple of years ago you were shooting the three, and I don't think you took any last season. Is that something that – in terms of just perimeter, not necessarily three, the perimeter jump shots you've been, you're looking to take a little bit more of this year? Oh, most definitely. You know, I think the way the NBA is going and the kind of style of play you have, you know, you can't really not be a threat from there. You know, you have to make people respect it. And it's something I've been working on and something I'm looking to go forward with. If it's, if I'm open, I'm looking to shoot it. 
And you got a chance to you know, play with De'Aaron last year, and now he has the new contract and maybe a lot more attention on him. Just being around him a little bit. I know it's early, but what are you? How, how have you seen him just kind of be in terms of his uh, you know, attitude, his approach, his leadership, just coming into his fourth year? Oh, man, he's ridiculously locked in. You know, I think, like I said, when we didn't reach expectations in that bubble, I think he's one of the guys who took it the hardest. And, you know, been in the gym, been looking to make his voice heard and, uh, you know, just looking to push us over. You know, we go as De'Aaron goes and he knows that and he's taking that responsibility and looking looking to make great strides this year. Matt George. Hey, Rashawn, I, I'm sure you you know this, but Kings fans have become just as much of a fan of your family as they have of you. And I apologize if someone's already asked you about this. I don't know if we've talked since then, but you posted on Instagram a, a video of you purchasing a, a car for your, your father mm -hmm. for his birthday. Uh, can you explain what that moment meant for you being able to do that and provide that for your dad? Ah, oh, man, that was that was amazing. One of the best moments of my life. You know, my my dad has been somebody I looked up to my entire life, always been there, drove me to every AAU tournament and put so much in me to get to this point. You know, he watered the seeds. So just to be able to give him something back, give him a gift, make him almost cry. I won't say I made him cry, but almost cry on his birthday, you know, just, just being excited and, uh, you know, to be able to see his reaction, be able to see him so happy, you know, that meant everything to me. You know, everything I do is for my family. And then building off of that, this is a contract year for you, and you don't strike me as someone who's specifically money motivated. Is the mindset changing at all going into the season, knowing that you're you're playing for hopefully that next big deal that you deserve? Nah, man, my mindset is to go out there and play the same way. You go out there and play the same way. You know, just bring what I bring to the game and let the rest take care of itself. Uh, go to Jason Anderson. Sean, good to see you, man. Hope all is well. Yes, sir. Um, can you detail a little bit more your your work on on pushing that range back out? Just what does that entail for you? What, what kinds of things have you been doing? I mean, just getting reps up. You know, I worked on my jump shot, the mechanics of it, things of that sort, and just really spent countless hours in the gym just trying to get something that I was comfortable with and get something that, uh, you know, I can make efficient, efficiently, and I'm, I'm confident in it. You know, um, I'm still going to be the same player, always a roller, always looking to put pressure on the rim. That's that's what I do, and that's a part of my DNA. But just adding that part to my game that so people can can respect that shot, respect the, uh, the floor space, you know, I think is important for our team uh, as well as our success. Did you have a number, kind of a number of shots you were trying to get up every day from a certain spot? Um, I wouldn't say I had a certain number. It was just time spent. You know, I wouldn't really leave the gym until I was kind of satisfied, and I'm hardly ever satisfied. So it wasn't really a number I was looking for. It was more of a feel, like how can I feel, like muscle memory, just trying to build muscle memory and things of that sort. So it may be 500 shots one day, 1,500 the next day. You know, you never know until you get that feel. So that's kind of how I go. Tony Harvey. Yeah, Rashawn. Um Coach Walton talked to you, talked to you the other day about um, running five out, five up. You know, you pretty much can play on both sides. I mean, play half court set and, you know, run up and down the court. And as Jason had alluded um, a couple questions ago about, you know, your shooting abilities, um, what, are these, what, are, what are they talking to you guys about the style of play that they like to go into for the uh, 2021 season? Uh, the main thing we've been talking about so far is speed. You know, we have a lot of athletic guys, probably the fastest point guard in the NBA and De'Aaron Fox. And I think just looking to push it, get early opportunities, you know, take the defense off guard, get to catch the defense off guard a little bit, you know, just trying to get easy buckets. A lot of athletic guys, a lot of guys who want to get out and run. So that's been the message for, you know, the first few days of training camp. There also has been uh, discussions about multiple ball handlers. Uh, how do you feel about your ball handling skills and the type of scheme that they're trying to uh, implement this season? I think it, I think it'll work out well. I think the type of things we're trying to do, you know, uh, it's a lot of things I had to work on that I had to get prepared for, you know, that they told me even last season. And I think uh, just using the offseason to get better there with my ball handling playmaking from the top of the key can be big for our offense. And uh, that's something I'm looking to do. Just a couple more, Sarah Hargett. What's 
Sean. Hope's all, hope all is well. It's been a cool minute. Um, with the addition of Whiteside, what, is that, what does he do, his addition, with what you guys are trying to do down low? I mean, just his interior toughness, you know, uh, hard to stop around the rim, can protect the rim, can rebound, you know. Uh, he just brings toughness on that interior. You know, he's been doing what he does in the NBA for a long time now. And uh, we know what he does on the defensive side of the ball. We know how he does rebound, and we know how he can finish around the rim. So just bringing that toughness and size to this team, you know, I think is something that's going to be very important for us. I know it's early, but I'm sure that you guys have maybe had time to, you know, talk. I don't know if you guys are seeing each other much in person, but, like, how, how do you think you guys are going to be able – how well do you think you guys are going to be able to play off of each other? Oh, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I've been a big-time admirer of Hassan and how he's played in the NBA thus far from his story to how he came up in the NBA. So, you know, I've been a big fan of him to get a chance to play with him, you know, pick his brain a little bit. And, uh, you know, I think we can play off each other well, just make each other better, push each other, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Like I said, I've been admiring his game for a long time, so it's, it's exciting to get a chance to play with him. All right, last question, Jason – or James Ham, sorry. Hey, Rashawn, I, I want to get back to your uh, running sort of the high post and, and passing out of that. Who have you been watching film of? Who have you been working with to try to sort of expand that game at the top of the key? Well, I've uh, been with Rico. Rico Hines is offseason a lot, and that's one of the main things we've been working on. Been working on and uh, watched a lot of Bam. Bam out of bio down in Miami, you know, just kind of how – He's that outlet. He's the guy who kind of gets the offense going for Miami and the way he kind of does things. You know, just looking at him as kind of an example of uh, things I can do and see how I can impact the game in the same way. Okay, thank you, Rashawn. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys.